Welcome to another tutorial through the series through the eyes of an engineer. We're going to talk about how to set up motion controller laser beam. So we, in previous video we saw how to set up a motion controller. Now we'll add a laser beam to it. You should already know how to do this scene except for the particle effect and the widget interaction. We'll leave the widget interaction to another video and focus on the particle a system actually, I call it particle effect. It's uh, called particle system in uh, Unreal Engine. So the big picture is we're going to create a beam particle system. Um, we're going to create materials and we're going to create um, the uh, light, the beam itself. So in order to do this, we need to define a source and a target. In line tracing you do not trace a line indefinitely, you set a starting point and you set an ending point and you see where you where or what you actually hit from the starting point to the ending point. So it's a segment, it's not a straight line, it's not a line, it's a finite segment. So we need a way to find dynamically in runtime where the source is and when, where the destination is. Luckily, because we put the particle system under the motion controller, as we move our motion controller, the particle system will orient correctly uh, with our motions. After we find out the starting uh, point and the collision point, then we draw the beam from the starting point to the collided uh, system. So the first thing is to use line tracing that has nothing to do with beams. Then we use the result to draw a beam. Remember you need a camera in your scene to view the results. So many people have done videos on how to create materials. Um, we're gonna focus here not on how pretty the line looks but on how to do the line. You can play with the materials to get a nice laser. It will look okay though. Common mistakes is uh, the origin of the particle system and the motion controller are not aligned and something in the particle effect is set up to be zero or incorrectly. There's lots of knobs and tweaks there that can easily be missed. So your priority number one is to see something then you can mess around with the values. Now make sure the particle system and the static mesh and the motion controller all have same coordinates. Actually the static mesh should have location 0, 0, 0 same as the particle effect. It should have location 0, 0, 0 because they should be on top of each other. This way when you move the motion controller, which we will see in the video uh, following up this tutorial, uh, if we move it then these two will move along with it. Now we will move uh, to see how to do the video and that would be the next lecture. Thank you for watching.